are you? Welcome back to another renovation video and this one's been one year in the making. The vision was very much a forest but fancy. This living room originally had a old red carpet and lumpy yellow walls and a beautiful mahogany fireplace which we agonized over the idea of removing to reveal the original stone fireplace. This stone is also in our hallway and it's also outside the house and we kind of wanted to continue that like flow as you come into the house where it's that like lovely original stone from 50 years ago when the place was built. I blame the original owners for creating the spark that made this fire. <laughs> they told us what they'd covered up and shared photos with us and that was it for me. The mahogany one, it was a beautiful fireplace but admittedly a little bit dated. Stone, however, is timeless. And so we kind of knew we wanted to go with like an earth tones color palette for the room. We wanted to have lots of natural materials like woods, plants and so stone fit in there. And that's where the journey begins. The first thing we did, I mean, I say we, um, really I had nothing to do with that. I stood back and watched, but my husband and his dad, well, first they pulled out the fireplace, which was sold on. And then they took a hammer and a nail bar to the plasterboard and ripped that all out. We were really happy with the fireplace when we saw the stone. But as you can see, it was really dirty and they'd painted black on top of the grout. I think it was paint anyway. And it made it just look way too harsh. It was so harsh looking. We didn't know how fixable that was. We tried for so long to find somebody who was interested in like tackling this stone to clean it. We eventually found a guy who did an acid wash and he cleared off all of the black paint. Don't ask me how he did it, but basically this room was off limits for a couple of days. It stank of some kind of acid that he used and the black was everywhere. It was on everything. It was so disgusting. I think it was worth it though, because the after was just gorgeous. It looks really clean and polished and it's just much less harsh on the eyeballs, you know? The original mahogany fireplace had a gorgeous heart made out of marble. It, I was so sad to part with that, but it was too it, small. And when we were looking into options, it was just so expensive. We went with uh, limestone, which was more affordable. And also it, it does really work. I feel like this slab that we had made, it was made to like just slot into place, but it sat out in our garage for months because we needed like multiple men to carry it in here. It's so heavy. I love the rough edge around the sides. I love how rustic it feels. And then, yeah, what we had to do was order our stove. We went with the Stanley Eco Ushin stove and this thing is so hot and this ugly little fan that we have on top. Um, I'm not a fan of the fan, but it does make the room way warmer. It pumps out so much of the heat. I really wanted a mantle, a, like a mantelpiece somewhere where we could hang Christmas stockings and put like candles and little knickknacks like these. These are our love bells. When Thomas and I had a long distance relationship, we both got these little bells and we'd have long distance phone calls and ring our bells and they were our I love you bells. This candle holder that kind of looks like a quill from Harry Potter. And then we have a little clock, which was a wedding gift to my husband's parents. I just, I just like displaying little knickknacks, like we have little knickknacky things all over the shelves. And we can change them anytime we want to. I actually brought in some of the pretty bits from my office shelves and those shelves are now instead home to a lot of my books. It just took ages to find the right piece of wood. We wanted a wood that would bring out some of the kind of more orangey warm tones. We found this wood in a place called Architectural Salvage. I wouldn't have gone immediately for this. I just thought it looked really like plain and there was all these really cool quirky looking pieces of wood like with wonky sides and stuff but Thomas pointed this out and I think he was right picking this. The wood is Victorian pine. <laughs> This kind of real orangey toned wood goes so well 
with sage green. Our walls are painted in the shade sage green by Little Green. I've had so many questions about that on Instagram. It's such a gorgeous color. So many holes had to be filled in the walls before the actual painting. And I was, I was actually terrified about going dark with the paint, but because the windows are so big in here and there's so much light in the room, it turned out fantastic. And like green as a color generally is said to make people feel calm and rested and secure, which is how I want to feel in my own home. Green's recommended as a room color if you want an atmosphere of comfort and relaxation. And sage green is great because it's so subtle, it's basically a neutral. So it's a safer option if green walls intimidate you as much as they intimidated me. The flooring. Can we talk about the, my dream floors for a minute? <laughs> my dream floors. If you yourself are looking to add a dream floor to your home, I got to collaborate with this company and get a discount for you for 10% off flooring, which is a, a big deal when you look at the cost of flooring these days for like wood, tiles, anything like that. National tile in Dundalk, they have absolutely everything. They can order in anything. They can make anything that you dream of for your home. Use code MEL10 for that 10% off. I've linked them down below. They made the most stunning, rich, dark wooden floors. It's their Cashland Oak range and the stain they used is called Oliver, but they did a custom stain to make it a little bit lighter for us than the original Oliver stain. For the forest vibes, we had to have the dark wooden floors because it's like the rich earth. And then we've got the plants and the green, like trees, we've got stone, we've got wood everywhere. And then our rug, this beautiful rug from the Da Vinci range of rugs. Not only is it that kind of old timey look of a rug, which I adore, I just love me, a beautiful rug. It's got flower patterns all over it. So we really have brought outside inside <laughs> with this room. When it came to deciding, you know, are we gonna do built-in bookshelves? Like, what are we gonna do? We had to find a carpenter. So we, we found a lovely carpenter on tradesmen.ie. He went and sourced the same type of wood as our mantle and suggested doing floating shelves. And I'm so glad he suggested this. So his opinion, which I believe now was correct, was that it would have just been so much going on, way too busy and cluttered if we'd had like actual built-in bookshelves either side of a big stone fireplace. And he kind of was saying floating shelves are, you know, a bit more modern and also it's just, I don't know, it's cool to mix styles. It's something that like, while yes, we wanted everything to be cohesive in terms of like textures, colors and, and stuff, you don't want it to be like one note and boring and stuff. So for example, um, our lights are quite modern. Well, in a way they're kind of like, candle holders I, I love them and we have real warm bulbs but they're on the ceiling roses and looks a bit weird and I've had my doubts but I do think it works it's cool having you know for example the coving but then everything else is real like a big weird mix of a hobbit hole and the Gryffindor common room and all of the things I love but yeah so uh, it was a big enough job putting in those shelves like they're very heavy so they had to put these big huge bar type screws in them to keep them in the walls each piece of the victorian pine our carpenter sourced is of a different thickness and some of the shelves have these beautiful wood knots others have literal holes in them and i do think it gives the shelves a lot of character as they're all completely unique the cabinet doors i don't love regarding not liking the actual doors um it's not because we went with mdf over wood and um, it's mainly because of the minimal style of them. We were in such a rush to get the job done before our second baby came along. And it was also the run up to Christmas. And I kind of just, I just wanted it done. I said, yeah, they're fine. But no, they were not fine. I'm hoping one day we can change to like raised panel doors maybe, which are a little bit more ornate. One big thing with the carpenter, I think he got his measurements wrong but it all worked out in the end because the thing, the main thing that mattered is that the TV would fit. So the TV, it's a sky TV and we got the, the green one because you can get different colors of these, but like it, it just about fit in here. And the original plan was for it to be mounted onto the wall and for it then it to be able to kind of pull out and kind of twist it around to like face that direction. You'll notice too that the TV is not the focus of the room. Like a few people were like, why didn't you hang the TV kind of up on the fireplace? And first of all, I just, I don't like when 
you're having to look up at a TV. It's also not ideal. It's recommended that TV is at your eye level. And I just feel, you know, post pandemic, I want a living area to be about conversation and talking to other people. So yeah, the seating area to be the focus and the fire. The TV's still there, you know, having its moment, but just not like the focus of everything. With the TV, the TV's like a big thing in this house. I'm, I adore watching TV shows, watching movies. Not that I get much time for it nowadays with kids, but it's a huge, passion of mine and always has been so it was very important that our like tv wall be really cool and cozy and just like something that's beautiful to look at and to behold so yeah um it all worked out so it's fine but my what i wanted was for this to be lower and for these to be more square rather than these like i feel like that looks more like a kitchen cabinet door i don't know it's fine and yeah wood storage was very important for me as well so he kind of left these um sections open we put little brass handles on the doors my all my dvd collection is going to be in those presses i don't care that dvds are irrelevant i'm never getting rid of my dvds as soon as i realized that i would be getting rid of all of the extras on you know like the special editions i was like no i'm keeping my dvd collection but yeah so the shelves kind of aren't in the exact places that I thought they would be you know it's grand but renovating there's always going to be things <laughs> kind of happening and cropping up like example this corner there's a load of plugs and stuff in there so we ended up getting this kind of beautiful plant and like a plant pot that we got for half price because it's chipped <laughs> to just cover them for the time being I mentioned our overhead lights but like I love me a lot of different light sources so you know candles lamps the mood lighting and I hate when there's just like one ugly bulb in the middle of a sitting room and it's just that awkward awful harsh light and you don't have that like there's like romantic lighting options and just like I love lights so originally there were a couple of sconces and the electrician left those parts of the wall kind of wired so that we could put sconces in and when we realized there was just so much going on over here, we couldn't put some kind of, like a lot, I love, I also love like antique furniture and like, I love lots of styles. I just love too many, too many things and not all of it goes together. So we couldn't really pick some cool vintagey little sconces for up there. It just would have been, it would have been too much. We needed to balance out the, you know, the old timey fireplace and the, the, the rustic vibes with some more modern elements for a more, rustic modern look. Thomas's idea was to pick really plain sconces that have like a plaster finish that you can paint. So we put the, the sage green paint onto them and they kind of blend in with the wall. They're not as obvious and noticeable when you're when you walk in, but yeah. I love them. And then the electrician did put in some spotlights above the stone fireplace as well so that it like brings out the stone even more. Like you can see all the little glittery parts of the stone and I love that look on like churches and things like that when you're outdoors at night time. The last thing we did was just a bit of a patch up. So there was like loads of white plaster down the sides of the fireplace that it was just, I was seeing it every time I walked into the room. So we used a paint that's kind of similar in color to the to the grout and you'd never notice it now, like it's grand. People have asked me, you know, what's, what's your style? I'm just like, my style is no style. My style is- All of the styles, all of the colors. Every room in this house is gonna be very different. And I, well, I love that. I love when a home reflects someone's personality and their tastes and stuff. So yes, that is one wall in our living room, completely done. We still have many other walls and corners to sort out in this room, but it was so worth all of the work and like spending an entire year <laughs> to just try and get it done because every time people come to the house, they're just like, this is mental, it's gorgeous. We've had compliments from every single visitor that has come since it's been finished. It's now really just a case of little things like convincing my husband to let me paint the coving green also and also the trim all around the room comment and tell him that he should let me do that because i think it would be so cool i just i don't i'm not a fan of the white i think we need a different ceiling white paint as well it's too it's too white you know what i mean i really hope you enjoyed this and if you have any specific questions about any part of the renovation just comment them down below and subscribe if you want to see what we do to all of the other rooms in our house we've still so much more work to do on this lovely bungalow and turning it into a home is just so beyond satisfying but yeah thanks for watching i love you and i'll leave you and i'll go and look up couches because that's the next thing we get to do. We're moving away from this wall. Fire is out too, so we have to fix that.